and welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug that we administer out in the field. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Today's medication is called prednisone, and prednisone isn't commonly carried on the ambulances, but there still are some states that include prednisone in their protocol, so that's why we're going to go ahead and go over it today. Your brand name for prednisone is Deltasone, and there's a few others, but that's one of the main ones I've seen. It falls under the class of synthetic corticosteroids. And so let's talk about how it works in the body. Prednisone travels to the liver, and this is where it's converted to prednisolone. And once it makes this conversion to prednisolone, it works as an anti-inflammatory agent, and it works to stop any swelling or immune response that it may perceive as a threat. Your indications are going to be exacerbated asthma and anaphylaxis. And with both of these conditions, we know that there is an immune response, and we know that there is swelling going on. As always, before I tell you the dose, please abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of of practice. The dose for an adult or somebody 12 and over is going to be one milligram per kilogram to a max of 60 milligrams and this will be given PO in a tablet form. Your contraindications are going to be hypersensitivity to steroids and known systemic fungal infections. Some adverse reactions you can expect with prednisone are headache, nausea, vomiting. Fluid retention is a very common side effect of prednisone along with weight gain. It also suppresses the immune system. Some drug interactions of prednisone can include include hypokalemia whenever it's used with loop diuretics. It may also cause hyperglycemia in the body, which could increase the requirements for insulin or other hypoglycemic agents. If you use it in conjunction with phenobarbital, rifampin, and phenytoin, it may antagonize the overall effectiveness of prednisone. Let's talk about a few side notes before we wrap up. Prednisone is not something you commonly see carried on the ambulance, like I mentioned, but it is often prescribed to our patients. The most common corticosteroid that you'll see actually on the ambulance is solumedrol. And the upside of solumedrol for EMS is that we can give it IV. But we also have to remember that corticosteroids typically aren't emergent. So let's say we have a patient that is in anaphylaxis. We still need to follow our protocol of epinephrine, oxygen, Benadryl, possibly a breathing treatment. And then we can consider our corticosteroids. It's not something that's fast acting, but it's something that will benefit the patient over time. We also need to remember the risk to the patient because prednisone at the end of the day is an immunosuppressant. And so if we're giving our patient an immunosuppressant and they end up getting really sick or they already are really sick, then we're decreasing their body's chances of being able to fight off whatever sickness or illness that they may have. So this is just something that we need to be cognizant of. Remember to abide by your local protocol and always follow your scope of practice. This video and all of these videos that I do are purely informational and meant to help those in the EMS field, but never meant to be used in the place of medical direction, local protocol, or or formal education. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next Monday.